All right, so we have all the different headers. We're going to show you what the headers look like and then show you the dyno graphs and compare uh, each of the headers. So this is the stock header. Uh, this is an RPM header. This is an Evo header. And then on the dyno here, uh, last one we ran was the uh, a, a header. Uh, some of them are a little bit hard to get the bolts and uh, they're a little bit tighter than than what I think they should be but you know that's not the end of the world so now let's go in and look at the dyno graphs so kind of like what you would think would happen uh, happen uh, we just shifted the power around uh, when you have a header that flows decently well and it is, is a decent design like the stock header when you start changing uh, lengths, diameters, uh, you know, try y four into one, all that stuff, what you end up doing is just move the RPM power bands around a little bit. So you can see the the red one here uh, was the RPM header. It did have the biggest peak later on, but to get that, it gave up the most down low. And if you look. In, at torque instead, uh, the best torque out of all of them was the green, which is the stock header. Uh, blue here was the Evo, uh, second best for torque. Uh, black was the AA header. And then RPM gave up the most. So by giving up the most down here, they were able to gain the most up at the high RPM uh, because the horsepower is just the the less your torque drops the the more your horsepower gains so you can see I mean in a comparison here uh, you know as far as drivability and feel uh, the stock one is probably gonna feel the strongest uh, with not necessarily having the top speed of the other ones if you're clutched right and you got to keep in mind that you know this is let's see if I need 650 so this line right here would represent the vertical line if you can see it that would represent uh, where your factory rev limiter is so with these headers that want to rev higher if you're revving right to your red or to your limit and uh, the Pro R is a little bit tricky because it actually starts pulling uh, the butterfly back and when it starts pulling the butterfly back uh, you may not even know you're there so it won't like like cut out or anything like that so you might just lose power so it's a situation where you can keep taking weight out but it just won't go any faster and it won't go any higher RPM now we can also compare airflow between all of them and the stock header is green here uh, so, I mean, that definitely consistently had more air going through the motor than, than uh, the rest of them. Airflow doesn't always indicate the most power, uh, but if you can trap that air, uh, it definitely has potential for more power. Uh, the second one for airflow would have been uh, the AA, and it looks like down low the uh, Evo header was a little bit better down around the 6500 range than the AA, but then they kind of stayed separated the whole way. Uh, the only one that really kind of gained and went above stock later on in life at higher RPM was the RPM. That one uh, gave up a bunch of airflow down low, and then it starts hitting its efficiency up here, and the airflow went up. Uh, so that's why the horsepower went up at the end. So that is all four headers i uh, hope you enjoy this type of content if you do make sure you hit like uh, if you want to see more subscribe and uh, feel free to comment let me know uh, what you think of this testing and you know if you think i should have done anything different let me know uh, i'm just trying to put information out there for everybody to understand what headers are out there because everybody Number one question again is why don't you have a header? Why don't you have a header? Why don't you have a header? And the reality of it is, is that 
it's a lot of money and a lot of development for something that isn't necessarily going to have the the output that can justify the expense so uh, here at bikeman we like to release something if we can get over one horsepower per 100 bucks uh, I don't know what these different headers cost, uh, but I'm pretty sure that they are not um, up to that that qualification for us. And uh, also, uh, you know, if if you uh, contest any of this information, I, uh, I I welcome you to show me down runs that that show anything different. Uh, you can send them to joeybmp at gmail.com. I'm happy to look at them, and I'm happy to talk to you. You can uh, give me a call at the shop, and and I'd be more than happy to go over uh, any of this information with you. Uh, on, the, on the other side, uh, we do have something that does way over uh, our 100 bucks of horsepower. We go do about uh, three horsepower per 100 bucks, and that's on our... Uh, our cams. So if you get our cams, uh, it's going to gain 30 horse and be relatively easy to install. We have installed videos on how to do it. If you want to go up from there, we have uh, like our Air Extreme head. And then, you know, beyond that, uh, you know, we're working on making more stuff. Uh, I think we got a stroker and a, a big bore coming. So uh, that's it for today. Joey Strube over and out.